It's not about staying out of the floodplain, it's just about understanding what risk we might face. Flood mapping is the tool that we use to understand where we might have a flood risk for our community. With the amount of growth that we're expecting in Logan, it's really important that we plan carefully and one of the key things that we have to consider is natural hazards. The traditional style of flood mapping only considered the chance of a flood event and so typically we used that 1% flood or it was previously known as the 1 in 100 flood. Now we consider both the chance of flooding and how dangerous and hazardous it is. So when we build our computer models, what we do is we actually simulate historic events. So we take the actual rainfall that fell, apply it to our model, and then compare it to the water levels that were observed at our gauges. We then go out and do field observations just to check that the model is replicating real world conditions. Our telemetry network is a network of river and rainfall monitoring equipment and we can use that then to get a real-time information of what's actually happening across the city. We can use that data then to feed into our models and then that will give us what the predicted flood levels may be. So the new flood mapping has identified that about 30% of us interact with the floodplain in some way. The state planning policy requires that we look at the whole floodplain and consider the areas of flood risk within that floodplain. And it also requires that we look ahead in time. So we have to factor in climate change and that's because we know that the risk is increasing. And so we want to make sure we plan our communities to be safe in the future as well. Floodplains are an important part of our ecosystem and by mapping and understanding where our floodplains are, we can allow them to do what they're meant to do.